very good morning students welcome back to online classes today's topic is constructors and destructors revision class 2 revision class 2 let us see that in revision classes what are the topics we are going to study in today's session the same warning note for the students for the all the revision classes note this information is for the students not to skip the videos for the betterment of the students to understand the revision concepts. First, the previous theory classes of a particular topic was being covered. Those videos will be played and followed by that revision concept on the same topic will be carried out. Now, we'll see that what are the topics we are going to cover into today's session. The topics to be covered in revision class 2. The first topic is parameterized constructors, invoking constructors, ex explicit call, implicit call and the last topic is initialization at the time of declaration with using assigning operator. Let us see again. The first topic is parameterized constructors invoking constructors explicit call implicit call and the last topic is initialization at the time of declaration with assigning operators let us see in brief very good morning students before getting to today's session let us see what are the topics we have covered in the last sessions. We have seen, we have started a new chapter called as in Constructors and Destructors. In that, we have covered uh, many topics like what is constructors, need of constructors, rules of constructors with a syntax with an example. And we have also seen that types of constructors. In the types of constructors, we have finished a default constructors with an example. And also we have seen a features of constructors and next type was parameterized constructors and we also seen that how to invoke a parameterized constructors in that we have seen the first one is explicit call now we will discuss about the implicit call let us start a session today implicit call uh, implicit call is the method of calling the constructor implicitly is also called as shorthand method if you want to initialize a field of class with your own value, if you want to initialize a field of class with your own value, then use a parameterized constructors. In a parameterized constructor, to invoke, we are going to use a second method that is implicit call. Implicit call is a function calling which is made by the compiler automatically, which is made by the compiler automatically without user interface without the user interface whereas explicit call is made by the user using a specific type of coding this is a major difference between explicit, explicit as well as your implicit the implicit call is made by automatically but whereas explicit call is made by using a specific type of code with the regard of a special member functions, you can call a destructors or assigning operator explicitly. While constructor cannot be called, constructor cannot be called explicitly. They call are implicit and is a part of creating a new object. It is a part of creating a new object. A major point is in this method the declaration of an object the declaration of an object followed by an argument list enclosed with a parenthesis the list are enclosed with a parenthesis once you go ahead with the example you can clearly understand what is implicit call here we have an example for a implicit call this is a simple program how we are going to initialize an implicit call a implicit call which is being made by giving our own values within a parenthesis here we have called using a implicit call the definition tells you that this method which is using 
to pass a value, pass a, your own value using a parenthesis with an open and close bracket. And 10 and 20, which has been passed as an argument within a parenthesis, we call this as an implicit call. And here we have a program to just accept a value, passing a value by using an implicit call. Here I have a class called as a num. Num is a class. In that class, I have a two data members, that is A and B, which is going to accept the two values. And I have a function, member function, which is to be having display. The member function, which is to be having a display. Displaying of a two values and also have created a one constructor and have created a one constructor with a two arguments with a two arguments or a two parameters using a parameters now let us go to the main program in a main program i have created a one object called as an object one once i use a constructor once an object is created automatically it is invoked 10 and 20 which has been passed to the n m value was 10 and n value was 20 now m value was 10 which is being copied to the a now a value was 10 and n value which is being passed a second value was 20 second value was 20 the 20 which is being passed to the n 20 is which is being passed to the n and then n value is being copied n value is being copied to the b now and again i have created a one more object called as an object 2 second object 2 and i have passed two values by using an implicit call that is 40 as well as 50 40 as well as 50 now the second object which shows the m value as 40 and n value as 50 n value n value as 50 m value as 40 and n value as 50 the first object value was 10 and 20 now the object is being accessed the member function which is being accessed by an object one display object one dot display once it has been displayed it is going to display that a is equals to a value the first object value is a value is 10 and second of second value of b is 20 second value of b is 20 the output will come as a is equals 10 and b is, a, is equals to 20 once you access a second object, once you access a second object, that is object 2 dot display, it is going to display you the second object value, that is A is equals to 40 and B is equals to 40. Here you people have to clearly observe the concept here, that is we have using implicitly call by using a parenthesis, that is within a bracket, the num is a class name followed by an object 1. Object 1 is nothing but the object and I have used the implicit call that is using a parenthesis. Within a parenthesis, I have assigned my own value that is 10 and 20 and second object implicit call by using a 40 and 50. This is a concept how we are going to pass the value to the value to the function by using a implicit call. Here we have the third method of invoking a parameterized constructors. The first one was explicit call, implicit call, and the third one is the initializing of an object during a declaration with assignment operator. Declaration with assignment operator. Here, this method this method is used for the constructors used for the constructors with exactly one argument once you use any argument with only one argument or any one value then this assignment operator is used in this method declaration is followed by the assignment operator the declaration is followed by the assignment operator that is nothing but a equal sign and the value to be initialized and value to be initialized will come again. This method is used for the constructor with exactly one argument. The method is used for with exactly one argument. In this method, declaration is followed by the assignment operator. The declaration is followed by the assignment operator and the value to be initialized. Let us see the example for this assign declaring with the assigning operator. Before going to this example of 
initializing an object using an assignment operator will just have a revise of the previous two types that is explicit call as well as implicit call when you talk about when you talk about explicit call when you talk about the explicit call the object is being followed by the assignment operator assignment operator followed by the constructor name and argument list was enclosed by the parenthesis will come again in the explicit call the object followed by the assignment operator and followed by the constructor name and the argument is enclosed in a parenthesis in the explicit call whereas in a implicit call the object is followed by the arguments object is followed by the arguments by by using a enclosed parenthesis but whereas the assignment operator is used assignment operator is used only one you are going to use a only one argument by using a assignment operator now here we have a small example of using a assignment operator where is that assignment operator in this program in the sense i have created an object one is equals to unreal this assigning a single value we tell that is a object is using assignment operator this is also a small program example for this topic which is going to accept a single value which is going to accept a single value using a assignment operator i have created a two object i have created a two object that is object 1 and object 2 and also used a uh, used a method by using a assignment operator object 1 is equals to 100 the equal indicates the assignment operator and object 1 which has been passed the value of 100 and also have created object 2 by using assignment operator 200 this type of a method we tell that it is a assignment operator now i have created a class called as a num class called as a num i already told you that this is a program to accept a single value and display a single value in that i have created a int as a data member a is a data member in a public i have created a constructor called as a num which accept a single argument which accepts a single argument now let us go for the main program in a main program once a once an object is created once an object is created that is nothing but object 1 is equals to 100 the automatically the constructor invokes the m value was 100 now and m value is being passed to the a m value is being passed to the a now the object 1 value was 100 the m value which is being passed to the 100 and m value is also passed a value to the a now a value was 100 once i created a second object that is object 2 once i create an object 2 the 200 has been passed to the object 2 once an object is created the second object value was 200 and i have i have called a member function I have called a member function called as a display now i'm going to access a display by using an object 1 dot display object 1 dot display then the display function is invoked once a display function is invoked it is going to print me as 100 it is going to print me as 100 and once i access a object 2 display it is going to display me as 200 you i think that students clearly understood this concept by using a assignment operator let us move on to the next topic Good morning, students. Welcome back to online classes. So this is a revision class. As we know, this is a continuation of uh, constructor destructor chapter. So last class, I just briefed what we discussed in the last session. So in the last session, what we discussed, we just discussed the meaning for constructors and the features of constructors, and we have seen the types of constructor. In types of constructor, we have discussed default constructor. We told that there are three types of constructor. One is default constructor, next is parameterized constructor, and the third one is copy constructor. 
So last session we discussed about default constructor with an example. In today's session we will discuss about parameterized constructor. In parameterized constructor we have three types of invoking the constructor. One is by implicit call, explicit call and then uh, third one is by using equal to or the assignment operator how we are going to invoke the constructors. So there are uh, three ways in which we invoke the constructors in the parameterized constructor. So I just uh, discuss the features and the definition of parameterized constructor in the today's session. So uh, what is mean by parameterized constructor in the sense a constructor that takes one or more arguments is called parameterized constructor. What is default constructor? A constructor which takes zero argument or zero parameters we call it as a zero argument constructor. Whereas in the parameterized constructor it takes one or more argument we call it as the parameterized constructor. So the, how we discuss the features of default constructor same here in the parameterized constructor too we have certain features. So I will just uh, put three points on the board. So the parameterized constructors can be overloaded. I repeat why because we are taking two or more arguments. So overloading is possible in case of parameterized constructor. Okay, for an object created with one argument, constructor with only one argument is invoked and executed. If we create a constructor with one argument, so what will be invoked? An argument with one, if we create a constructor with one argument, so constructor is only one argument is invoked. The parameterized constructor can have different arguments and different values. I told there is a disadvantage in default constructor. How many other objects we create when we want to initialize, all objects will be initialized with the same set of values. But whereas in the parameterized constructor, all the objects can be initialized with the different values. Suppose x value is 0, y value you want to give it as 1, you can give z value, you want to give it as 2, we can give. That means with different, the variables can be initialized, the objects can be initialized with different values. We, do, we are not going to initialize the same set of values. That's the advantage of a parameterized constructor. So what are the features? I discuss again. I just repeat it. So the parameterized constructor can be overloaded. If it's one argument constructor, only one argument is involved. And a parameterized constructor, we can initialize the different objects with the different values. Next, we will see how to invoke the parameterized constructors. So next, we will see. Uh, how to invoke the constructor? So invoking the constructor, we have three ways. Three types we can three three ways we can invoke the constructor. First one is by explicit call. Next by implicit call. Next initialization at the time of declaration by using assignment operator or by using equal to operator. So first I have taken explicit call and given you the example. So the same example we will see how to use the same example for implicit call and explicit call. First I have discussed the explicit call. In the explicit call what we have as similar like usually what we do we will have a class, we will declare a class, we will define the class. Class called num. So we have on the private section are given data member and the public section. Usually we know that constructor we have to initialize in the public section only. So I have num. This is my constructor. But what type of constructor you can easily identify? This is a parameterized constructor. Parameterized constructor definition. What does it says? It takes two or more argument. Okay, one or more argument. So what we have here now we have argument p data type that is int p and int q then a i am giving it to p b value b value is q a value is p b value is q next i have display a and b okay what is a and b value i will just display next in the main function i know i am creating the object now what we are doing in the explicit call first here i am going to give a here i am going to create the object once the object is created here to the constructor i am passing first for object 1 i am passing the arguments the argument list for this particular object 1 i have 10 and 20 next i am going to create object 2 so this is your class name and this is for your constructor you are passing the arguments the next by using object 2 i am passing the argument as 40 and 50 next the first constructor object 1 dot display if you go for the display what it has a is equal to a and b value we have. So what does it tell? First constructor. So the output is first constructor. First constructor. So I call display object 1. So for first constructor a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. Next I have object 2 display. So object 2 display again if it goes we recall this is second constructor. So second constructor what to do? A. What is A value? A is equal to 40 
and b is equal to 50 okay so this is about invoking the constructor explicitly so here in the main function we are going to see how we are going to invoke the constructor first we are going to create the object then to the then to the constructor you are going to pass the arguments now that is num under that you have an argument list 10 and 20 next we have 40 and 50 next in the output we can see first constructor what is a value a value is 10 b value is 20 why because a value is p b value is q so what is here so what is means p what here p contains p contains 10 then q contains 20 this and giving it to a and b so what is my a value a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 again this will invoke here it will come here again what is p value p value is 40 q value is 50 so what is a a is 40 b is 50 so the second constructor a value is 40 and b value is 50 so only differences you can find here first we are going to create the object then to the constructor you are going to pass the arguments okay next we see the same example how we are going to invoke by using implicit call next we will see the implicit call see i just altered in the main function now this is your implicit call next is as i told we are going to discuss the implicit call so this is the implicit call so in implicit call same thing same main method same you have the class class is also now in your main function how we are going to call this implicitly in the sense after the object directly we pass the argument list i repeat in the implicit call the object uh, when you define the object when you declare the objects the argument list just follows once you create the object the parameter list follows by using the parenthesis once i have object obj1 i just open the bracket i just pass the argument list and then i close the parenthesis so your declaration or uh, your uh, declaration and the initialization the values when you go when you want to call the object when you want to call implicitly as soon as the object you create after that you need to pass the you need to use the parenthesis so once the parenthesis you start opening the parenthesis you can pass the argument list this is the only difference between your explicit call and implicit call in the explicit call first we have to define the object then by using the constructor num we are going to pass the uh, values okay here once you create the objects by using the parenthesis directly you can pass the values to the just once after creating the object only we can pass the or uh, we can pass the parameters or the arguments okay so this is the implicit call so rest all defines the same now again when you execute this again you will get the same value only thing how to call implicitly and explicitly in the sense explicitly you will have to first create the object then by using constructor you have to call here directly once you create the object you are going to pass the arguments next last uh, concept is we will see by using equal to operator how you are going to invoke the constructor students next we will see uh, by using third method to also initialize the object by using assignment operator so here i just use the same class num so in the private section i have data member that is a in the public section i am just passing this is a single argument constructor and passing m so m i am assigning it to a next i have a display so in display what i have in the display function call so in the display number function i have a so here this is a parameterized constructor i am going to create two objects one is object one and one is object two see in implicit call what we have seen just by using the object directly we are going to by using the parenthesis we are going to initialize the objects okay initialize the values for the object here what we are going to do after the object one i am use i am going to use the assignment operator this is equal to operator we call it as assignment operator object one equal to 100 object two equal to 200 what disadvantage is this uh, assignment equal to operator is that you can initialize only a single value okay see for example you want to pass two or more uh, uh, arguments to the same object we cannot pass why because we are going to initialize here also we have as a single argument constructor single argument parameterized constructor so here we can because when you are assigning this value is equal to this object so only for single variable single object you can assign a single value but we can assign different object with different values okay next i have object 2 and we can assign 200 so object 1 what we have 100 so this is the output object 1 this function call takes you here this object 1 takes you object 1 dot display i have this display function what does tell c of a so what is c of a a value 
a values m okay so what is num so object 1 this will go here so what is object 1 is m is m values 100 so 100 i am giving it to a so what is object 1 object 1 is 100 Next object two again I am going to call my display function c o t I have a so what is a contains a value here again this this function will go here so what is m value again first m value will be hundred for object one now this is for object two m value is two hundred so two hundred I am going to give it to a so a what is what is it contains a is object two what is object two dot display so a value is two hundred so this is how we are going to Uh, invoke the function call by using the assignment operator. So we are in today's session. We have discussed only the parameterized constructor. There are three ways of invoking a parameterized constructor. One is by implicit call, explicit call, and by using assignment operator. Uh, how to initialize by using uh, how to initialize the object by using assignment operator? We have seen. In the future classes, we will see constructor, uh, copy constructors, as well as destructor. Okay, thank you.